Yeah, even, yeah, exactly. exactly. But five years from now, it won't be the case. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so, good. So, um, so, the thing that we do here is we've taken the, what would I call an entry level version of our product. That's going to be a small, medium business, right? Okay. But the net is, is that we only differentiate our product on you know, by tiered pricing, it's the same product, okay. right? Okay. So you could basically upgrade to Walgreens, you know, level style if you needed to. Okay. And what we've done is partner with Persistent, okay. an integration partner, okay? And then using the, you know, and also with Argonaut is developing part of What's their core business? Their core business integration. integration with the MR system? So they basically work with Epic and they work the with board. them? Okay. Yeah. As well as they do... they do... work outside the U.S.? Do you yeah. Know? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Uh, they're also involved, you know, they can also develop apps as well too, okay. right? So, but, but what's really nice here is that they're providing essentially uh, the integration work that's specific to these systems. There's, a, there's actually a lot of people that are playing in this field. Oh, yeah. And it have been forever because, yeah. you know, it's well, been a problem been for a forever, long time. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what this whole thing enables is getting a jump start in the world of fire-enabled interoperability okay. quickly. So if we already have an app that's on the market, um, we don't want an interrupted patient or physician experience with that app. Right. Um, how would would we have to rewrite it to be able to leverage this? Or yeah. How would that work? Well, you, in order to use Fire, right, right there's Fire APIs basically. Okay. You have to use the, you know, those APIs in terms of the data that you're using. Got it. Okay. okay? Now, okay. you know, because maybe these guys aren't there yet, that's okay. You know. Uh, you can still translate that, you know, accordingly at that layer, that right? Layer, but then yeah. you're ready here, right? This, okay. this is also the beauty of this sort of architecture is that you're insulating what goes on down below from above. Right, you're just translating it in this yeah. layer here. So you could change out something here, right, and, and basically have no effect over here, okay. right? And it's bi-directional, right? It's not just stuff going there. Of course, you'd have you know, remote monitoring and devices all, you know, shooting information back down. So what does this moderated by persistent mean? Uh, well, so this is an app gallery that, you know, we have in our sandbox, which okay. is really just a, a, a evaluation version of this that okay. you can get to via Apogee.com. Okay. So, so they're working with, you know, in terms of the, the apps that get built, you want to publicize your app. Could right. be there, right? So I mean, if, if your company were to basically have this, right. it, it wouldn't be the sandbox. It would be your deployment of this. You, but you could have an app gallery of all the apps that, that have use that are your API. APIs. Got it. I see. That are, okay. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah most of ours are consumer and patient. Right. They're right. in iTunes or right. Google Play. They're not. But but you want to attract developers. Yeah. Right. And because that's the thing. This is on your developer portal. So, like for example, you go to the Walgreens portal, develop yeah. portal. You see all the apps that have been developed yeah. using their APIs. It's impressive, right? They've got over 100 apps using QuickPrint. Never mind the pharmacy vehicles. Excellent. So, so if this is a use HTML7 language, and then you have an API talking to the files, so is the interface no problem? Well, these guys eventually are supporting Fire but as well. For now, though. Yeah, no, but for now, right, right. So you basically, you can work with a partner we work with, which is Persistent, to bridge that, or you can work with another partner that works with HL7, you know, and can make that bridge to fire. You have make a bridge, basically? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The bridge, the HL7, right? The many... I mean, a fire is done by HL7. This is like their, you know, next version of what they perceive. Right. Basically, you are, you are Persistent is making an API for each... Each company, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like, uh, and then I'm position. I have this EMR. Yeah. I have X server. I have Salesforce. It's kind of crazy. My staff lock into every system. Right. I want to find something. You know, just make an API for everything. The same login. People just want the same code. Well, this, so this, what you do? Or no? Well, I mean, look, this isn't a yeah. silver bullet. You don't just right. drop it and everything right. works, right. right? But this is the infrastructure. Mm -hmm that is necessary to tie all those things together, right? And then we're at a, you know, depending on the stage that this whole movable healthcare technology thing is at, you know, right now we're finally at the level where you can start to work with fire, right? The meaningful use, you know, the milestones for incentives. Again, with, with current language.